we begin with uh, U.S. soccer making news. We know they recently hired Matt Crocker as sporting director. And then we come to find out this week that they've named Oguchi Onyeyu vice president of sporting. This is a newly created position. They made it clear this is not a replacement for Brian McBride as general manager. So we might still get a general manager as well. But Oguchi Onyeyu added to the mix. Yeah, and it's it's an interesting mix being um put in place and accumulated with uh, JT Batson uh, at, at, the, at, the, at the head, obviously Cindy Pollard Cohn um, as the president, but then now with Crocker coming in and then I guess, I mean, we haven't seen an org chart yet, so we don't ultimately know what this is all going to look like, but then you have, you know, as we mentioned, Gucci on when, you know, where does he fit in? He is in charge of all of the uh, club's, both men and women, uh, in terms of st- what what's it called, strengthening uh, other stakeholder relationships. So, I mean, I don't know what the hell a vice president of sporting does in in the United States Soccer Federation, but I do see a value in having somebody whose sole responsibility is to foster those relationships. Make sure. I mean, look, I'm here in D.C. doing lobbying. So basically, this is a position of lobbying around the world, whether it's for youth players or I guess more importantly uh, for full national team players to make sure that it is a well-oiled relationship and everybody understands what's going on. And so whether it's, you know, the release of players or the communication of what's going on with players, whether it's the recruitment of players, which we know is so important going forward. I can, I don't know if that's a full-time job, um, but and I so I have absolutely no idea what Oguchi Onyewu is going to is going to do. Keep in mind that you know he has been involved with the United States Soccer Federation. He's on the Athletes Council, if I know, if I if I remember correctly, um, and he has gone into you know kind of the front office business side of sports over the last couple of years. And so that they created a whole new position is is a little strange, and it's not the Brian McBride position. Um, so are they still going to fill that going forward? So there seems to be a whole lot more people that are going to be involved. And for those of you that scream and yell about, uh, you know, cronyism and, uh, old boy, old girl network, I mean, Oguchi Onye, a former player, been there, done that he's been in the machine. And so this is a hire of somebody not directly, but oftentimes, uh, within the machine, whether you like that or you don't, that's the reality of the situation. Yeah, I'm not against this, but it is funny that while the rest of us are trying to simplify the org chart and suggesting maybe doing away with this position or that one, organizations like U.S. Soccer, their instinct is always to add more layers of bureaucracy. So if they hire a general manager, now you have an extra person involved in these decisions when we were all suggesting maybe doing away with the general manager, but this is the way they've chosen to build. Yeah, and and quantifying, you know, the, that type of job and... Un- what what is success for him? And look, he he will obviously he's reporting to uh, to Crocker and 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 others. I would think, and they I would hope would have an idea and and a measuring stick, if you will, of what is success and what his mandate is. And maybe that'll become more public as uh, uh, as we go along. And look, Gucciani was worked in media, and so he I, I think he has the opportunity to be a um, upfront facing type of personality in the in the uh uh in the united states soccer federation and you know that's a that's a good thing uh i would think but i again i just don't know what the hell the the job is and i guess we'll find out uh going forward but congratulations to oguchi on on you again to your point i don't know how much this this changes the trajectory of u.s soccer it certainly doesn't simplify it from the outside but again we're not on the inside and maybe mr crocker and and others believe that this is a vital and necessary position not just to have but to create you like that clip well my state of the union podcast drops every week subscribe now on apple podcasts spotify or wherever you get your podcasts you like that clip well my state of the union podcast drops twice a week right here on my very own youtube page the only way to stay up to date is to hit that subscribe button down below size the day and see you soon